Despite raking in billions and billions of dollars for nearly a decade now, thanks to GTA 5 sales, along with Shark Card sales, and of course, most recently, the Milked Edition for PS5, Xbox Series S, and X, which includes the standalone version of GTA Online, Rockstar and Take Two, aka Take Two Games, is not content with the amount of money they've made so far. They want to get every last dollar, dime, nickel, quarter, or penny out of their loyal fan base as possible. And nearly a month ago, they introduced a new subscription service. Most of you are aware of it, GTA Plus. I've made a few videos regarding GTA Plus. So they put out a tweet that a lot of people just uh, found hilarious and desperate from Take-Two Games. Learn how to get the most out of your GTA Plus membership with our new GTA Plus guide on the GTA Online site. Plus, check out guides for GTA Online criminal careers, vehicles, properties, free run basics, with more to come. See how they put the, the GTA Plus guide above everything else over on the GTA Online website. They want you to know about the guide in case you're having trouble with GTA Plus, or better yet, if you've decided not to waste your money buying this scam, because that's exactly what GTA Plus is. It's a subscription service, but it's a horrible subscription service. We've discussed this quite a few times already. It's available exclusively for the Milk Edition version of GTA 5 and specifically online for the PS5, Xbox Series S and X. The membership obviously is six bucks a month. It renews monthly and they hope that you don't cancel that renewal. Similar to a gym membership where you're only paying a few bucks a month, but you stop going to the gym, but you conveniently forget to cancel your gym membership or better yet your streaming membership like uh, Netflix, for example, or Disney Plus or HBO Max. Meanwhile, that gym membership and the streaming subscriptions and now GTA Plus is just nibbling away at your bank account each and every month as time flies by. And that's exactly what Take-Two Games is banking on. You're gonna get GTA Plus for this auto renewal monthly membership and you'll keep paying it month after month after month. It'll be in the back of your mind because you got everything else going on in your life. Even if you're not even touching GTA Online, you're playing other games or you got other stuff happening, but you're still giving Tay2 Games six bucks a month because you forgot to cancel. Oof. Getting set up, you can purchase GTA Plus membership directly from the PlayStation Store, Microsoft Store, or from within GTA Online on PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. How convenient that Rockstar allows us different opportunities and options when it comes to forking over more money to take two games. In this case, GTA Plus Scam. Checking the rewards. GTA Plus members can check out available monthly rewards by opening the pause menu, navigating to the online tab, selecting GTA Plus membership. Alternatively, you can also view your latest GTA Plus benefits right uh, here, I guess. So they go to the trouble of adding this new section to the online menu, GTA Plus membership, in order to conveniently let you know what you're going to be getting this month and next month and in the future as you hand over $6 a month. Granted, uh, the uh, monthly uh, deals that come with GTA Plus, in hindsight, may not be worth six bucks a month. Maybe once in a while they'll have a good month, but most of the time it'll be you know average at best, subpar, but at least you'll know where to go to find out what exactly you're getting out of that six bucks a month, right? How to claim your rewards. Your $500,000 will be deposited directly into your Maze Bank account automatically to your GTA Plus membership monthly billing date. For the record, get a submarine, do Cayo Perico Heist, you will make way more money a month grinding, even casually, the Cayo Perico Heist than $50,000 a month. That's not even that much money at all. In fact, I think that Prime Gaming pays out about the same. So I don't know if they're going to phase out Prime Gaming with Amazon. It used to offer a lot more, but it still at the very least offers you $100,000 a week. So until they phase that out, you're technically getting four or $500,000 a month anyways, just from Prime Gaming. Well, for now anyways. Property benefits. Property and GT Online are more than just places to hang out. They act as a launch pad for additional gameplay via missions, businesses, opportunities for heists that can prove very lucrative. 
Member exclusive property related benefits will be available for GTA Plus members to claim each month, such as complimentary or heavily discounted properties, property upgrades, and more. Free or discounted properties can be claimed through the in game website like Dynasty 8 Executive, Maze Bank Foreclosures. Use the browser on your iFruit phone in game to access these via the websites. For properties, you may also need to visit certain characters and locations first. Check the property selection and GT Online guides for more info. Once again, in the long run, it's going to be way cheaper for you to grind Cayo Perico Heist with friends or the Casino Heist or help people out with some you know, business opportunities and missions. Take advantage of double money opportunities or even sometimes triple, quadruple money opportunities in the game and you'll make plenty of money to where you can buy these properties and even the property and the location of your choosing instead of going with what Rockstar is going to generously allow you to go to with paying them six bucks a month via the GTA Plus scam. Doing it via Kyle Preco Heist and the Casino Heist for the Diamond Casino is much more lucrative and allows you to take full control of the money without having to fork over six dollars a month courtesy of GTA Plus. Vehicle Benefits Member exclusive benefits will be available for GTA Plus members for basically two weeks. The Devastate 8 HSW variant was available. Not even two weeks. My friend Bob mentioned that it was actually nine days. Nine days the GTA Plus members that were duped to take that scam got access to the Devastate 8 Supercar HSW variant for only nine days. And then everyone else was able to upgrade the Devastate 8 to the HSW variant. And by the way, thanks to Bruffy, yeah, it's not a very good supercar after all, even with the HSW upgrades. Yet another scam. So yeah, the Devastate 8 was quote unquote free for GTA Plus members. And they talk about how, oh boy, you can take it to how Special Works, get the upgrades, get the libraries. Whoop de doo. There's way better vehicles in GTA Online than the Devastate 8. There's way better HSW vehicles in the game for the Milk Edition than the Devastate 8 HSW. Yet another scam. And then Rockstar also tries to compel you to take advantage of the liveries or liveries that come with GTA Plus, exclusive for GTA Plus members. Liveries are custom paint jobs, decals, patterns that can be exclusive to specific vehicles. These can also be claimed in game at locations like Los Santos Customs, Benny's, Motorworks, House Special Works, and there were some clothing items that looked kind of disgusting that were also exclusive, like this frog shirt this chick's wearing. Gee, isn't it worth six dollars a month for this awful looking frog shirt? Hey, but you also get some uh, rebates along with bonuses and incentives. By the way, the uh, extra bonuses and cash and RP that come exclusive with GTA Plus, once again, pale in comparison compared to all the other ways you can actually earn cash and RP in GTA Online without having to purchase the GTA Plus scam. Contact missions, the OG heist, as well as the casino heist, and as I've mentioned a few times, the Cayo Perico heist. And finally, the best part, GTA Plus feedback. Rockstar, why would you put this down here when you know how the majority of the Rockstar Games community feels about GTA Plus? Thank you for being part of the GTA Online community. Gee, what better way to show thanks and appreciation to all of us uh, loyal fans for nearly a decade now by not upgrading the game with uh, dedicated servers, finally doing something about God mode and orb spamming uh, griefers, our players being DDoS and doxxed on the PC, as well as the billions of dollars we've given you buying copy after copy of GTA 5 and online, as well as shark cards. This is how they show their appreciation to the GTA Online community by giving us GTA Plus and GTA Plus feedback. Rockstar is keen to hear your thoughts. I'm sure you are when it comes to GTA Plus and the kinds of benefits you'd like to see included in the future. If you'd like to leave us your feedback and, oh, I'm about to, please drop us a note in GTA Plus membership section of the GTA Online feedback page. So uh, the link is uh, right here. It's going to be in this article, link below in the description section. By all means, feel free, log into your Rockstar Social Club. 
and go give Rockstar feedback regarding GTA Plus. Be careful what you wish for, Rockstar. All right, so here's what my feedback is. Scrap GTA Plus scam. Haven't you already milked your fans enough? Forcing us to buy GTA 5 and online again on PS5 and Xbox Series instead of offering a quote-unquote free upgrade for players who already own the PS4 Xbox One copies. All Rockstar and Take-Two cares about is milking every last penny out of your loyal fans while putting out nearly a decade-old game over and over again with as little effort as possible. GTA Plus isn't worth six bucks a month and is a complete joke compared to other subscriptions. You're welcome, Take-Two Games. The only reason why they put out that convenient guide, I get the feeling is because the sales for GTA Plus aren't going as well as Sam Hauser and Strauss Zelnick were anticipating. Yeah, the word is out right now. And yeah, some people did get GTA Plus, either content creators who actually wanted to show off what was in it in order to warn the communities that watch their channels, or people that were duped by Rockstar Games, Take-Two Games, into getting GTA Plus, not realizing that it was going to be a scam. Chances are there might be a future monthly uh, GTA Plus offers that might actually be worth six bucks a month. But you think that your premiere, the first event revolved around GTA Plus, would be a grand slam. It would be a brand new car, for example. Not a supercar that's been in the game for several years now and just happens to be an HSW upgrade that doesn't even make it the best HSW supercar in GTA Online Milked Edition. Everything about GTA Plus is a scam, it's a joke, a ripoff, and like I mentioned, there are way better gaming subscriptions out there than GTA Plus. And to add insult to entry, we already have to pay not only for a copy of GTA 5 or the standalone version of GTA Online for PS5 Xbox Series, you also have to pay Xbox Live, our PlayStation Network each month. And on top of that, Rockstar expects you to pay them an additional six bucks a month for this GTA Plus scam. But instead of fixing known issues in GTA Online and getting us dedicated servers like most other online multiplayer services have, big and small studios by the way, rebalancing the PvP vehicles like you promised a few weeks ago, no, Rockstar is focused on letting you know about GTA Plus via newswires, via the front page of GTA Online, and now, so conveniently, with this guide that they actually took effort to put together just to try to get more people on board with the scam known as GTA Plus. Despite how I feel about most of the so-called corporate media on all sides, by the way, at least CNN has had the decency to realize that CNN Plus sucked and is shutting it down less than a month after it launched. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about Take-Two games. I feel like they're gonna keep GTA Plus going no matter how unpopular it happens to be. Is there the possibility that they could actually make GTA Plus better and more appealing to players? Maybe. But if it's gonna continue to be low effort, just like the milked editions of GTA Online and GTA 5 for PS5 Xbox Series, as well as the Defective Edition, aka the GTA Trilogy, as well as the neglection of Red Dead Online, I don't really have much faith in GTA Plus getting any better than it currently is.